All right, how you doing today? Today we have a bunch of songwriting apps for lyrics. Some of these are free, some of these are paid for. Some of them use artificial intelligence. It's a really lot of cool things. The artificial intelligent ones are kind of like co-writers. Uh, a lot of really cool stuff. I also have a blog post that I have a lot more uh, apps and stuff for songwriting lyrics and other songwriting stuff as well. Melodies, whatever, chord progressions, all that fun stuff. Uh, so check that out as well. There'll be links for everything in the video description below for all these. But let's just get right into this. Let's check it out. All right. So the first one up here is Google Docs. This is great for co-writing because you can both, if remote co-writing that is, or in the same room, I guess, on different computers or whatever, because you can, everyone can look at the document and edit it as you go in real time. Working song title writers, start date, uh, PROs, working lyrics. And then you have some, you know, ideas on the back burner, rhyme schemes and stuff like that. And really cool app just to start writing in. Like I said, then you share it, you share it with your co-writers if you're doing remote stuff. And then everyone has the lyrics here. And then I usually use this with Zoom on my iPad and then have Google, I have this on my, my computer and I'm good to go. So really cool app here for that. Let's move on. All right, so MasterWriter at MasterWriter.com is a really powerful tool for writing lyrics. They even have a version for creative writing as well, but we're going to focus on songwriting here. This is probably one of the oldest ones out there for, for writing lyrics. Uh, that used to be a program that you bought, which I did buy a long time ago, and then they went web-based, and then you kind of pay annually, or you could get a membership for two years and stuff like that as well. But basically, um, if you go to the songwriting version here, and a cool thing about being web-based, by the way, is that you can use it on your iPad, your computer, your phone. I have it set up, so it's all synced together as well. So, you know, it's really cool so if you're out and about and inspiration strikes or you want to, you know, work on a different computer, whatever, you just log into your account. So I'm not going to go into every single detail here, but I'm going to log in real quick. Go to my account, show you some cool features. You have your song list up here. I have some untitled ones, uh, ideas working on. You have different folders and stuff like that. Uh, let's just go to a new song here and we'll call it, we'll just call it demo. So you have your writing thing over here and let's go put some lyrics in here. This is the first day. Now we have a couple things here we could do. You have different versions. If you have some ideas and stuff, different versions. I usually make different pages for like ideas and then demo words or demos and stuff like that not demo words but like just ideas and story plot or whatever you could actually record audio in here as well if you get an idea you have a melody or whatever and then you have your info here you put in the notes uh, writers society uh, publishing and whatever and then the key and tempo of the song and length and status and all this stuff or whatever all right so cool and then so we got some lyrics here real quick. Uh, it's the first day of my life and it's great. Whatever, let's go over here and rhyme with great. You got all these different rhymes here. I got 30 pages right here of, of these are perfect rhymes if they call them. And then we have closer, um, snake, and we have wider. And then the widest of all, we can select by syllables. In case you're looking for the widest possible rhyme with great. And then invades. That doesn't even really. That's real far out there. Well, let's go. Let's get back to a perfect rhyme. So great plates, and you can just collect these. Just double click on them. Date, late, so on and so forth. Then you have your collected stuff over here. Rhymes, and then we have phrases. Discover great importance. We have word families. We have synonyms. We have a dictionary. All kinds of really cool stuff to help you write your lyrics. Like I said, I'm not going to go into everything here because I just want to give you a quick overview of these things. So a really cool, cool songwriting app. Write with Chorus is another one. It's just called Chorus, but the website is writewithchorus.com. It's a monthly or a monthly fee. Uh, you get a 10-day free trial if you want to test it out. Create a new song here. You can even pick a genre. Let's say we want to do like a alternative pop song, title it, create your song. Now this one has a lot of the other features. There's chords over here as well that you can play around with. 
But then you have your writing area here. Today is the first day. And then you can rhyme, do your rhyming dictionary here. Same thing, we got syllables, we got near rhymes. We even have imperfect rhymes based on rhyme brain that you can go to here as well. We'll come back to this in a second. So we've got our perfect rhymes, we've got different syllables, we've got triggers, and this is kind of unique to um, this app here. Let's get rid of these syllables. So we got triggers. And so day, today, every day, hours, day, daylight, movement, week, far, uh, moment, not movement, <laughs> yet, tomorrow, kind of things related to day, to the word day. Um, and then we have a notepad down here as well, if you want to do that. We have genius, which is pretty cool too. So you type in a word or phrase, the prompt, the prompt, the genius here. Today is the first day. Let's just type that in there. See what it suggests. Now it's also using the alternative pop as a reference of the style of music we didn't talk about yesterday. Today is the first day we didn't talk about yesterday. That could be the next line. Copy the clipboard, paste it in your lyrics. You are not the same as your friends. Hold my hand, whatever. We could get, we could go even do some more. I don't, I don't have to be afraid of silence. So there's a lot of ideas in here. It's kind of like a co-writer, and of course you can modify these to fit your song. Maybe, maybe it sparks an idea. Today is the first day we didn't talk about yesterday. And then you can get even more creative with this here, as you see here. As creative increased genius comes up with more imaginative lyrics that are less direct related to the prompt. So the more you do it, it's a little less direct. Let's check that out. You only have to get through today. Or are you listening to the words that I don't remember? I did a crime with no purpose. That could be a cool line to throw in here for fun. I'm just obviously just doing this randomly. And yeah, so pretty cool. And then we can just go here and click on this. There's like a little, there's some rhymes over here that you can look up. Purpose, multi-purpose, nervous. And it's kind of like a co-writer, you know, you have these different ideas that you get going with and then you're on your way. So you can make this start this first line. Today is the first day we didn't talk about yesterday. I did a crime without no purpose, you know, and then just go from there. Maybe, maybe take this line, put it up here, see what the genius says. No, not everything is going to make sense and not everything's going to fit, but it gives you ideas. And like I said, maybe you want to say I'm hiding away under the covers, but maybe you want to change it at the bridge or whatever. I don't know. You can change it to whatever you want. It's you're writing the song. Anyway, so this is a pretty cool app as well. And let's take a look at the next one here. So if you go to Rhyme Brain, which they actually have built into their app here as well, Imperfect Rhymes are based on Rhyme Brain here. So you can go find rhymes. I use this quite frequently. And this app's actually free, it's just the website. So let's go in here and you wanna put in trust or whatever, it doesn't matter what word it is. Get your rhymes, some alternatives, words that almost rhyme with trust, cosp, glove, buzzed, whatever and then there's a whole bunch of other things down here and on this website too there's a really there's a couple other cool things you go back here and you have these settings and you can do rhymes you can do alterations type in two words crazy love for example and then you have like these all these different ideas here for you to use so pretty cool let's go back invent a word this is a pretty cool feature so let's go in here and put crazy and see what happens so crazy plus each, crazy plus Z. Well, that's obvious. Crazy, crazy plus evening, crazy-ing. I don't know how to pronounce this. So yeah, it's pretty cool. You come up with some really crazy ideas with this one here. And then there's a songwriter helper as well on this site. Roses are red, violets are blue. Then there's rhymes and all kinds of stuff. Goo, moo. And again, this site's all free to use. So it's pretty cool. And then we have this other one called lyricstudio.net. This is pretty interesting as well. It's kind of an AI kind of writing thing. Um, I have all these different songs in here. These ones are just kind of just testing it out with. Let's just create a new song. 
and we can do it by topic or we can do it by genre. So let's do, let's do crazy, broken crazy. Let's actually do crazy, crazy joy. We'll do those two words, see what happens. And it actually gives you a title for the song too. To make you my woman. Of course you can change the title. You don't have to use that. And it just gives you all these suggestions. <laughs> just like so many times before. Start with that. And then try to rhyme with before. Or you can just go on. I can feel it in my bones. I try to convince you. Just like all the times before. I try to convince you. And then let's go to rhyme with this. If we go over here. Just click on the, this line. We'll get the before. We'll try to rhyme with before. New suggestions. It also gives you a syllable count over here, which is cool. All right, so if let's say the story begins, just like so many times before, I tried to convince you and you don't even know the score. You're so much better than the ones before. Everything's kind of rhyming with before. Because I can't take it anymore. Oops, let's undo that, put it on this line, because I can't take it anymore. And then there's some settings here, syllables, at least 20, uh, wackiness based on selected lines, based on topic, you know, so there's a lot of really cool features in this one too. It's kind of like an AI writing thing. And again, it's just to give you some ideas, co-write kind of thing. It's like a co-writer almost, and that you just kind of go along with whatever. I mean, you could just probably just do this and come up with some crazy stuff. But gives a basic idea here. And then we have suggestions, we have rhymes, near rhymes and everything with the Thoris. So these are definitely worth checking out, these apps. Uh, there's probably like hundreds of other free like dictionaries and the Thoris is stuff that I use. Not hundreds, I don't use hundreds, but there are lots of them out there. Check out the blog post. I'm gonna have some links for some more apps in the blog post as well as new ones come available or whatever, I discover new ones. These are just some ones that I use all the time. Uh, so yeah, if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. If you have some of your favorite apps not mentioned in this video, put those in the comments below as well. That is all for now, and I will talk to you soon.